Hello you amazing people, welcome back to RX Memes. Today we are going to be jumping into r slash pro revenge and if you like today's video I would love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to reach out to me all my socials are on the screen somewhere and I always reply. And let's get right into the video. I, as a former store manager, deliberately hired a thief as my replacement. Cross post from r slash confession. Original post. I was recently let go from my job as a store manager. The company I worked for was abusive to both me and my staff. Some examples, there are a lot more, would be the owners, upper management, coming to the store and chasing the staff around while snapping their fingers and saying, you're not working hard enough, go, go, go. The owners, upper management, coming to the store and telling me how fat ex-employee is. The owners, upper management, spreading rumors about the staff and I. The owners, upper management, screaming at us over the phone loud enough that the customers could hear it. A month or so before I was let go, I had a pay dispute wherein I explained bluntly but professionally how they need to pay me because it's the right thing to do. They had promised extra pay above my salary for working hours I shouldn't have had to do because of something they did, and then purposely did not pay me that money. Eventually, they paid me, but they really didn't like that I stood up for myself and thus started their plan to get rid of me. One of them even stopped speaking to me altogether. After this, I was strangely given permission to hire a staff for the store. I needed one, so I happily posted an ad online and started interviewing people. It took a month, but I finally found one I liked and called their references, which came back average but good enough. A sales representative I knew saw the resume on my desk and told me I should call X Business, which was not on the resume. I did, and it turned out this person had been fired for theft of money and product, in the same industry of which I'm hiring for. I decided not to hire the thief. A few days after deciding against the thief, I was forwarded a resume from the owner that had stopped speaking to me. It was instructing me to interview the thief I decided against. But how did this owner get the thief's resume in their inbox? The ad was mine and forwarded only to my email, and only I had the password to the account. I followed the link back to an ad that I didn't write and posted from a different account. This ad was for store manager, a poor attempt at being sneaky. I could have quit right then, but I had a better idea. The owners are notoriously spiteful, but I know they are also lazy and don't do their due diligence. They think they are having me hire my own replacement without me knowing. So, I hired the thief as my employee, while the owners, having already seen the thief's resume, sees them as a good fit for store manager. I vouched for the thief's references, knowing they'd never call them themselves. Three weeks later, I was let go when I arrived at my store. The owners seemed confused by the big smile on my face when they told me. I was genuinely happy to be finished there. It was the worst employment experience of my life, but it was a job of necessity. I was able to collect employment insurance, thankfully. The thief took over managing the store. Thanks to the new store hours, the thief works five days a week with no staff, open to close, unsupervised. Yikes! Sounds like those bosses, though, got what they deserved. That's just cruel to have your own staff hire their own replacement, if you ask me. Come on, where is the tact there? Make my kid cry? Well, guess I'll make sure you pay the asshole property tax. So I was out to dinner with a buddy of mine last night. We were talking about crappy neighbors and it reminded me of this story from about four years ago. Thought it might be appropriate for this sub, if not, feel free to remove. Might post to asshole tax too. A little background. When we moved to our house about 12 years ago, our neighbors next door were awesome. They came over with cookies and pie, they introduced us to other folks on the street, etc. Unfortunately, the husband got a job transfer and they had to move about a year after we got there. Before they left, he and I had a conversation talking about property taxes here in Texas, which are very high because we have no state income tax. He told me that he never reported that he built a pool to the county's assessor's office because it would have triggered a reassessment and his home value, and thus property taxes, would have skyrocketed. He said he even grew his trees out a certain direction to cover the pool from satellite photos. I thought that was interesting, but kept this info to myself. So new neighbors move in. They seem okay, not super friendly, but cordial. We will call them the Smiths for the sake of this story. Their oldest boy was the same grade as my middle girl, so she would sometimes play outside in their front yard from time to time. No biggie. Well, just before Christmas 2015, my daughter, who is nine, this is important, comes running into our house, crying, sobbing. I ask her what's up. She said, 
Mr. Smith told me I am a bad kid and I can't go over there anymore. I was like, what the fuck? I got a bit more info out of her while trying to calm her down. Basically, he yelled at her for something she did, told her she was a bad kid and wasn't welcome anymore. I'm thinking, okay, there's more to this story. No reasonable adult would talk to a nine-year-old girl like that. So I went outside next door to chat with him, assuming this was a misunderstanding. I walk up to him and kindly ask him what happened. He responded, Fuck off. I'm tired of your little assholes coming over here and doing whatever they want. You keep your fucking kids off my lawn. I'll keep mine off yours. I was taken aback. I tried to ask him what my kid did to upset him so much. He yells at me to get the fuck off my lawn now before I call the cops. And he starts acting threatening, so I leave. I won't start a fight, but I sure as hell will finish one. But either way, I don't really want to get into a fist fight with my next door neighbor. So I'm like, fine, fuck this shit. I went back to my house, instructed my kids to never step foot on their lawn or talk to their kids again and moved on with life, even though he apparently couldn't. He was bad mouthing me to the other neighbors on the street, glaring at me when I would pull into my driveway if he was outside, etc. Keep in mind, I never found out what my daughter did to upset him. But, as a reasonable adult, if someone's kid does something wrong, you talk to the parent. You don't scream at the nine-year-old kid until they cry. If he had told me what happened, I would have gladly spoken with my daughter to rectify the behavior and had her apologize and make it right for anything she actually did. So a few months later, I am reviewing my property tax statement. So a few months later, I am reviewing my property tax statement for 2016. On our county's website, you can see your bill as well as the bill and assessments of your neighbors. Out of curiosity, I checked to see if they ever reassessed the neighbor's house for the pool. Imagine my surprise! The county still doesn't seem to know they have a pool. So their tax bill is like $4,000 and some change for 2016. Similar to what it had been every year since they moved in. Hmm. It would be a shame if their bill went up because a reassessment was triggered due to a significant renovation or upgrade per the assessor's website. So the next day, I called from a random extension at an empty desk at my office, spoke to someone at the assessor's office, and anonymously told them the house at 123XX Street had a pool that was built back in 2002 that was never assessed. Went back to the website a few weeks later to see if anything changed. Turns out, the reassessment required a physical visit. Apparently, said neighbor added on to the back of his house too without telling the county. Didn't know this because I hadn't stepped foot in that backyard since the Smiths moved in and apparently was hidden by the tree branches. Plus, I heard from another neighbor on the street that he was also assessed back taxes for the value of the pool going back to 2008 when they moved in. That 2016 tax bill shot up to almost $11,000 and been close to $7,000 a year ever since. So I'm going to tell you my little asshole story today. And it's not even an asshole tax or a pro revenge because literally I just got yelled at. (laughs) But, But I was leaving my friend's house and she lives just on the edge of a playground zone. And this car, no, this truck was, was going like 80 down a 50 street. And sorry, I don't know what 80 in KMs is, probably like 40. Um, and so like I'm in Canada, we do KMs. It was 50. He was going 80. Playground zones are 30. I hope that makes sense. So he was doing 80 down the street, didn't slow down at all through the playground zone. And then I just like, I got in my car and left and I pulled out. And so right where there's like a a cross block, I have to stop. And I see this truck that looks very similar to his and some guy is sitting in the front seat with his window down. So I put my window down, slow down, lean like out to talk to him and ask him, hey, was it you that just fucking barreled through that playground zone at like 80? And he's like, what? So I repeated myself. And I did not swear at him at all. Like I was just asking. And he's like, what? No. How dare you blame me? And I was like, okay, I hope not because it's a fucking playground zone. I did not say the F word, by the way. And then he's like, you know what? fuck you. And he's like, I've been sitting here for 30 minutes. I'm a contractor, blah, 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 blah. You know what though? He looked guilty AF by the way, because nobody just gets immediately defensive in my opinion, if they're not guilty. So I told, I was like, okay, like literally this is what I said. Have a nice day. And he's like, 
fuck you. And I'm like, bye. And he's like, fuck off. I couldn't believe it. I actually couldn't believe that somebody, if it was him, okay, first of all, if it was him, he was already in the wrong. Just be like, you know what? I messed up. I was late to work. I won't do it again. Like, I'll be careful because there's fucking children that live around here or old people that live around here or blind people that live around here or deaf people that live around here. Mind you, he was working at the school. And if it wasn't him, just be like, you know what? It wasn't me. Um, But obviously this guy's wife must be cheating on him or something with his brother because he was just that angry. And it just kind of like messed up my day. So um, that's my story today. If I get revenge, I will share it in my next video. <laughs> but if you guys liked today's video, I would love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell, blah, 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 blah. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.